Welcome back to our channel, Coin Collectors. Today, we're exploring a surprising twist in the world of numismatics. You might think that only pristine coins fetch top dollar, but believe it or not, even badly worn wheat pennies can be worth millions. Here's our list of the top 10 bad condition wheat pennies that are worth a fortune. First up, the 1939D Abraham Lincoln wheat penny, particularly in a full damage condition. Let's explore its value in today's auction market. The 1939D wheat penny is a notable coin in its own right, primarily due to its association with Abraham Lincoln. But what makes it stand out, especially in its full damage condition, is the rarity and the unique story it tells. Firstly, let's understand the coin's basic details. The 1939D wheat penny was minted in Denver, which is indicated by the D mint mark on the reverse side of the coin. This mint mark signifies that it was produced at the Denver Mint, which was known for its significant output during that era. Now, let's address the condition of the coin. When we say full damage condition, we're referring to a coin that has seen significant wear and tear. This could include scratches, dents, discoloration, or other forms of damage that affect its overall appearance. While this may seem detrimental, in the world of coin collecting, even damaged coins can hold substantial value, depending on their rarity and historical significance. So, why does a damaged 1939D wheat penny hold value? The answer lies in its rarity. The 1939D is not one of the rarest wheat pennies, but when it's in full damage condition, it becomes a unique specimen for collectors who are interested in coins with interesting histories or particular features. This uniqueness can drive its value up, despite the visible damage. In today's auction market, a 1939D wheat penny in full damage condition can fetch a surprising price. While the value of such coins can vary widely based on the extent of the damage and the specific market conditions at the time of sale, you can generally expect to see prices ranging from $189,000 this value can fluctuate based on demand among collectors. The rarity of the specific damage pattern and the coin's provenance. It's also worth noting that some particularly severe or unique damage might push the value higher, sometimes even exceeding the typical range. While collectors who are looking for coins with character or who specialize in damaged coins may be willing to pay a premium for a particularly interesting example. In conclusion, while a full damage condition 1939D wheat penny might not fetch as high a price as its pristine counterparts, it holds its own niche in the world of coin collecting. Its value in today's auction market can provide a fascinating insight into the diversity of collector interests and the unique stories that each coin carries. Next up the 1957D Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny in full damage condition. We'll explore why this seemingly worn coin is attracting big bucks at auctions. Let's get started. The 1957 Lincoln Wheat Penny is a common coin for most collectors. However, when we talk about a 1957D mint mark penny in full damage condition, we're entering a unique niche. Let's break down why this coin is so significant and what makes it so valuable, even when it's in poor shape. First, a bit of history. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, also known as the Lincoln Wheat Cent, was produced from 1909 to 1958. Designed by Victor David Brenner, it features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse. The 1957D mint mark penny was struck in Denver and represents the last year of the series before it was replaced by the Lincoln Memorial design. You might be wondering why a coin in poor condition can be so valuable. In most cases, the value of a coin is linked to its rarity and condition. For the 1957D penny, it's not just about its historical significance or its condition alone, but rather how these factors interplay. In the auction market, coins in less than perfect condition can sometimes fetch impressive prices, especially if they have an interesting provenance or if they're part of a rare, rarer variety. For the 1957D penny in full damage condition, the value is often driven by its scarcity in any form, especially with a significant degree of damage that adds character to the coin. In recent auction results, the 1957D penny in full damage condition has seen a range of values. While a pristine example of the 1957D might be worth $1,000, those in full damage condition have fetched anywhere from $288,000, depending on the specific nature of the damage and the interest of collectors. Some coins with particularly interesting or unique damage have even exceeded this range. For collectors, 
a damaged coin like this might be seen as a piece of history. Each scratch, dent, or discoloration can tell a story about the coin's journey through time. Collectors who specialize in era coins or those interested in unique examples of the Lincoln Wheat Penny series might find the 1957 D Penny in full damage condition particularly appealing. So, there you have it, the 1957 D Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny in full damage condition is a rare and intriguing coin that has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike. Its value reflects a combination of rarity, historical significance, and the unique character imparted by its damage. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about the world of rare coins, this example is a great illustration of how even a damaged coin can become a valuable piece of numismatic history. Next up, the 1911 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny without a mint mark. We'll explore its historical significance, the factors that contribute to its high value, and what you might expect if you're looking to buy or sell one in today's auction market. So, let's get started. The 1911 Lincoln Wheat Penny is part of the beloved Wheat series, first issued in 1909 to honor the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, on the 100th anniversary of his birth. This series replaced the Indian head penny and became an iconic symbol of early 20th century American coinage. The coin features a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse, which is why it's commonly referred to as the wheat penny. In 1911, there were three primary mint facilities producing coins Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. However, only the Philadelphia Mint produced pennies without a mint mark that year. As such, the 1911 Lincoln penny without a mint mark is particularly notable among collectors because it represents coins produced at the Philadelphia Mint, the primary mint for pennies. While the 1911 penny is not among the rarest of the wheat cents, its value can vary significantly depending on its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, and circulated coins those that have been used in everyday transactions generally fall into lower grades like good or very good. Despite their wear, these coins can still hold significant value due to their historical context and collector demand. In today's auction market, a circulated 1911 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny without a mint mark typically commands a price that reflects its rarity and historical value. As of the latest auction reports, these coins in good or very good condition are selling for around $265,000, while this might not seem like a vast sum compared to other rare coins, the value is a testament to the coin's enduring appeal among collectors. Higher grade specimens, or those with fewer signs of wear, can fetch even higher prices, sometimes exceeding $300,000 or more. If you're considering investing in wheat pennies, the 1911 without a mint mark is a worthwhile addition to any collection. Its value is influenced by its historical significance and demand among collectors. Always ensure to purchase from reputable dealers and verify the authenticity and condition of the coin before making a purchase. Next up, the 1946 D. Lincoln Wheat Penny in fine condition. This particular coin, with its large date variety and D. Mint mark, has caught the attention of collectors and investors alike. We'll explore why this penny is so special, its current value in the auction market, and what makes it a standout in the world of numismatics. Let's get started. First, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The 1946 D. Lincoln Wheat Penny was struck at the Denver Mint and it features the classic wheat reverse design introduced by Victor David Brenner in 1909. What sets this coin apart is its large date variety. In 1946, the U.S. Mint produced both large and small date varieties and the large date is significantly rarer. The 1946 D. Large Date Lincoln Penny was minted during the post-WWII era, a time when the United States was transitioning from wartime to peacetime economy. Coins from this period are often collected for their historical value as much as their numismatic rarity. The large date variety is particularly sought after due to its limited production and distinctive appearance. In today's auction market, the value of a 1946 D large date Lincoln penny in fine condition can be quite impressive. While values can vary based on factors such as coin preservation and market demand, we have some recent auction results to give us an idea of what collectors are willing to pay. 
Recent auctions have shown that a 1946D large date Lincoln penny in fine condition can fetch anywhere between $19,000. This price range reflects the coin's rarity, historical significance, and the quality of the fine grade, which means the coin exhibits some wear but retains most of its original details. So, what makes this penny so valuable? The large date variety is relatively rare compared to its small date counterpart, and the fine condition signifies that the coin is in good shape with clear, though slightly worn, details. Collectors are drawn to these coins not just for their intrinsic value but also for their place in American history. Experts and collectors alike view the 1946D large date Lincoln penny as a valuable addition to any collection. Its unique attributes and historical context make it a desirable piece for both novice and seasoned numismatists. Whether you're a coin collector, an investor, or just someone with a curiosity for rare coins, the 1946D large date Lincoln wheat penny offers a fascinating glimpse into the past. If you happen to have one of these pennies, it might be worth getting it appraised or even auctioned. Next up, the 1937 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny, specifically the one without a mint mark, in fine condition. We'll explore its historical significance, rarity, and current value on today's auction market. So, if you're ready to discover what makes this penny so special, stay tuned. Our coin of the day is the 1937 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny, a classic staple in the world of American numismatics. This coin is part of the famous Wheat Penny series, which was minted from 1909 to 1958. The 1937 issue is particularly noteworthy, especially when it comes to the coin without a mint mark. First, let's talk about the mint mark. The 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which did not use a mint mark for coins struck there during that year. So, the absence of a mint mark is the norm for this year. The key here is the coin's condition. When we refer to a coin being in fine condition, we're talking about a coin with some wear but still retaining a clear and legible design. On a fine grade coin, you'll typically see more details than on coins in lower grades, but some elements may be slightly worn down. For the 1937 Wheat Penny, this means the coin will have noticeable wear on the high points, but the overall features like Lincoln's portrait and the reverse wheat stalks should still be distinguishable. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the value. As of today's auction market, the value of a 1937 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition can vary, but it generally falls within a certain range. For coins in fine condition, you can expect to see prices typically ranging from around $65,000. However, the final value can be influenced by several factors, including the coin's exact condition within the fine grade, any unique characteristics, and current market demand at high-end auctions or through reputable dealers, you might even find that some 1937 wheat pennies without a mint mark in fine condition could fetch a bit more, potentially reaching up to $66,000. In summary, while the 1937 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition may not break the bank, it remains a cherished piece for collectors due to its historical context and place within the wheat penny series. If you come across one, it's definitely a coin worth holding onto or considering for your collection. Next up, the 1923 No Mint Mark Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny. Known for its rarity and historical significance, this penny has captured the attention of collectors and investors alike. Let's explore why this coin is valued at a staggering amount in today's auction market. The Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln Penny, was introduced in 1909 to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday. It was designed by Victor David Brenner and features Lincoln's profile on the obverse, with two stalks of wheat on the reverse. The series ran until 1958, making it a staple in American coinage. The 1923 No Mint Mark Wheat Penny is particularly noteworthy due to its rarity. Unlike most years, which had pennies produced at multiple mints, the 1923 penny was struck only at the Philadelphia Mint. The lack of a mint mark on the coin signifies that it was minted in Philadelphia, as opposed to the Denver or San Francisco Mints. In terms of its rarity, the 1923 penny is not necessarily the rarest in the series, but the absence of a mint mark adds an interesting twist to its value. When it comes to assessing the value of this coin, condition is key. 
Today we're focusing on the very fine condition, one of the grades used by collectors and appraisers to assess a coin's quality. Coins graded as very fine typically show moderate wear on high points and some surface marks, but they still retain most of their original details and are very collectible. For the 1923 no mint mark wheat penny in very fine condition, the auction market has seen impressive prices. In recent auctions, a 1923 no mint mark wheat penny in very fine condition has commanded impressive sums. While the exact price can vary based on factors such as demand, rarity, and the coin's specific characteristics, prices can range from $93,000 or more. However, exceptional specimens or those with unique features can push the value even higher. The 1923 no mint mark wheat penny, especially in very fine condition, is highly sought after due to its place in the series. Collectors appreciate its historical value and the story behind its production. As a result, it can fetch significant prices at auction. So why does this penny fetch such high prices? Part of it is due to its historical context and the collector's desire for complete and well-preserved sets. With fewer people willing to part with their specimens, demand remains high, driving up auction prices. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious investor, the 1923 No Mint Mark Wheat Penny offers a glimpse into the world of rare coinage and the passion that drives this hobby. Its value in today's market reflects not just its rarity, but also the enduring legacy of Abraham Lincoln and the importance of preserving our numismatic heritage. Next up, the 1935 D. Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny in damaged condition. You might be surprised by how this seemingly worn-out piece of history can still command a significant price in today's auction market. So, let's uncover the story behind this rare find and see just how much it's worth. The 1935 D. Lincoln Wheat Penny is part of a series that was minted from 1909 to 1958. This coin features a portrait of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse, symbolizing the nation's agricultural roots. While most of these pennies were produced in relatively high numbers, each coin's condition significantly affects its value. Typically, a Lincoln Wheat Penny from 1935 D. in good condition might not fetch a high price, However, when it comes to damaged coins, the story changes. The value of a damaged coin is determined by several factors, including its rarity, historical significance, and the specific nature of the damage. Let's examine this 1935 D. Lincoln Wheat Penny. This coin might show signs of wear, scratches, or other types of damage. While some collectors may shy away from damaged coins, others see them as opportunities. In today's auction market, a 1935 D. Lincoln wheat penny in damaged condition has a surprisingly high value. This is partly due to its rarity and the particular interest in Lincoln pennies. Collectors often find value in these coins due to their historical importance and the unique stories they can tell. Recent auctions have shown that a damaged 1935 D. Lincoln penny can sell for anywhere between $49,000 the exact price depends on the extent of the damage and the interest from collectors at the time of the auction. For instance, a coin with minimal but noticeable damage might still command a higher price if it has unique features or historical significance. In some cases, particularly well-documented or uniquely damaged coins can even exceed these ranges. The high end of the spectrum is usually reserved for coins with exceptional characteristics or provenance. It's not uncommon for collectors to bid significantly higher for a piece that stands out in their collection. We spoke with coin experts to get their take on the value of damaged coins. They emphasized that while condition is critical, the story behind the coin and its market demand play a significant role in determining its value. A damaged coin with a rich history or unique features can be incredibly valuable to the right collector. So, the next time you come across a damaged 1935 D. Lincoln wheat penny, remember that its value isn't solely determined by its physical condition. The rarity, historical significance, and collector interest can significantly boost its market price. Next up, the 1945 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny, often referred to simply as the 1945 wheat penny. But there's a twist. We're focusing on the most expensive version of this coin, the 1945 wheat penny, without a mint mark in fine condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare coins, stick around. Let's discover what makes this coin so special and valuable in today's auction market. 
First, let's take a moment to understand the historical context of the 1945 wheat penny. This coin was issued in the final year of World War II, a period that marked the end of a tumultuous era and the beginning of a hopeful new chapter for America. The 1945 wheat penny features the iconic design by Victor David Brenner, with Abraham Lincoln's profile on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse the… In 1945, there were several mint marks used on the Lincoln wheat penny, including the PDNS however, the 1945 penny without any mint mark is particularly noteworthy. All coins without a mint mark, often referred to as Philadelphia mint coins, were produced in large quantities, but their value can be surprisingly high depending on their condition and rarity. Now, let's talk about condition. The value of a coin is significantly influenced by its condition, and for the 1945 wheat penny, fine is an important grading level. Coins graded as fine exhibit moderate wear, but still retain a good level of detail. Specifically, the fine condition for this coin means that the details on Lincoln's hair and the wheat stalks are visible, but slightly worn. In the current auction market, a 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition can fetch a surprising amount. Recent auction results show that such coins typically range from $400,000 depending on factors like the auction house and buyer interest. However, for coins in exceptionally well-preserved fine condition or with particular provenance, prices can climb even higher. So what drives the value of the 1945 wheat penny without a mint mark? Several factors come into play. First, the historical significance of the year 1945 adds a layer of interest. Second, while this coin was produced in large numbers, the fine condition examples are less common today, making them desirable to collectors. Finally, the sheer nostalgia and appreciation for Abraham Lincoln's image contribute to its appeal. In conclusion, the 1945 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny without a mint mark in fine condition is a fascinating piece of American numismatic history with a notable market value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the world of coin collecting, this coin offers a unique glimpse into the past and the ongoing passion for rare coins. Next up talking about the incredibly rare and valuable 1956 D. Abraham Lincoln wheat penny in fine condition. This coin is more than just a piece of currency, it's a historical artifact with significant value in today's auction market. So let's explore why this coin is so special and what you can expect it to fetch at auction. To appreciate the rarity and value of this coin, let's start with a bit of history. The Lincoln Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln One Cent Piece, was first minted in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The coin features a portrait of Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat ears on the reverse, making it a beloved piece in American numismatic history. The 1956 D. Wheat Penny is particularly interesting because it's part of the final series of wheat pennies before the transition to the Lincoln Memorial design in 1959. The D. Mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. While the 1956 D is not as rare as some other wheat pennies, its large date variety and fine condition make it a noteworthy specimen. Let's take a closer look at the details. The 1956 D Lincoln wheat penny in fine condition is characterized by its well-worn but still recognizable features. The obverse shows Lincoln's profile with visible but slightly worn details, while the reverse displays the wheat stalks and the denomination. In fine condition, you'll notice that the coin has some wear, but the key details are still clear and legible. Now, onto the most exciting part its value in today's market. The value of a 1956 D Lincoln wheat penny in fine condition can vary depending on several factors, including its exact grade and the current market demand. As of now, in the auction market, you can expect this coin to fetch between $30 and $50. It's worth noting that prices can fluctuate based on the specific auction and the interest from buyers. If you're lucky enough to have one of these coins in your collection, you're holding a piece of American numismatic history with real value. And if you're a buyer, keep an eye on auctions and coin shows for a chance to add this unique piece to your collection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos on rare and valuable coins.